Hello, this is Dr. Nikki, and I am back again looking at Math Learning Center apps and how they might help us teach kindergartners the different types of problems that they need to know. This is the both add-ins unknown problem, and in the Common Core, it was one of the designated problem types that the students had to know. In the TEKS, they don't really mention the both add-ins unknown problem in kindergarten, so if you're in Texas, it's not really part of the mandated designated problem types that kids have to know. But certainly by first grade and second grade, you start working on these problem types. Um, and the truth is that in kindergarten, kids learn to compose and decompose numbers, but they don't necessarily master uh, this problem type. Um, but they, get, you know, you should certainly play around with it. And um, by first grade, they really kind of get the hang of it. And some kindergartners do really well with it as well. Um, so I wanted to show you how to use number frames to really teach that problem. So here's one where when you tell the problem, you set it up like this. You say, you know, Michael has two different colored marbles. He has some yellow and some blue. And he doesn't have to have both colors. Or you could put the criteria that he does have to have both colors. So in these, I said that they didn't have to have both colors. So um, Michael has some marbles and he has them in a box and he has five marbles and he has blue marbles and he has yellow marbles. So if he has five yellow marbles, how many blue marbles? If he has four yellow marbles, how many blue marbles? If he has three yellow marbles, how many blue marbles? If he has two yellow marbles, how many blue marbles? If he has one yellow marble, how many blue marbles? If he doesn't have any yellow marbles, how many blue marbles? And then again, I could set it up with ladybugs. There were four red ladybugs. And so we're talking about there were some ladybugs and they were sitting on a, on a flower. And there were four of them. And some were yellow and some were red. And there doesn't have to be some of each color. So if there's four red, how many yellow? What about if there's three red, how many yellow? What about if there's two red? Well, then there would be two yellow. What about if there's one red? Well, then there would be three yellow. What about if there's no red, but there's four ladybugs, how many yellow? And so you can do that. You can go in here and you can pull down, um, you know, you could pull down different icons. And so we could pull down frogs. We could pull down frogs and, and have um, yellow frogs and blue frogs. And so we would go over here and we could say, you start, could start with small numbers. And they don't always have to be in the five frame. I like them in the five frame because that um, helps us. But you know, to see it clearly. So you could say there were three frogs and they were yellow and they were um, blue. And so we need to get the yellow frog in there. And so if we had all three blue, how many yellow? Well, what if we if there was just two blue? How many yellow would there be? And see, kids can reason like this. If they have things to reason with, they can reason. We could say, oh, well, there were um, there was only one blue frog. So how many yellow would there be? What if there were no blue frogs, but we know there were three frogs total? How many yellow would there be? And remember that it's about pattern and structure. So you're looking at the structure of the number three, and you're also looking at the pattern three and zero, and there's two and one, and then there's one and two, and then there's three and zero, right? And so, um, you want kids to be able to see that and to talk about that. What are the ways that we could break up three? We can have three and zero. We can have two and one. We can have one and two, or we can have zero and three, right? That's really what you're looking at is how do we break up the structure here? How do we break up the structure of four? What are the ways we can make four? We can make four with four and zero. We can make four with three and one or two and two or one and three or zero and four. Right? Or how do we break up five? The same thing here. So I really like to use the number frames when I'm trying to teach the children the both add-ins unknown. This is a level four problem. This is after you've taught part, part, whole, uh, whole unknown. Then you go into part, part, whole, both add-ins unknown. And I find these are easy problems to teach kids if you actually use a lot of visuals with the kids. Um, and so I do things like crayons. I also go on, if you Google... Um, peas and carrots math you'll find lots of ways to teach the same kind of concept all right thank you for joining me um, be sure to check out the course and the books and I will see you next time